before we get started, let's go over the player and the enemy real quick. For the player, we have a kinematic body 2D, followed by a sprite and a collision shape. As for the script, this is what we have to make our player move. I won't go into full detail as to uh, how, to, how all this works, uh, but you can simply pause the video and copy it, or go to GitHub, which uh, I have the link down below, and simply go through there. And then, uh, let's go over to the enemy script. It's more or less the same, but there is a difference. We do have a visibility notifier 2D, and we do have a signal hooked up, which is screen exited. And then over on the script, it's much more simpler. We just have a variable of speed of 100, and this basically makes the enemy move in a certain direction. In this case, we're making them move down the Y axis. And then the speed times delta. And then the visibility notifier 2D, when he uh, the enemy is gone from the screen, we simply queue free. No need to do print, I just do that just to make sure that it is working. All right, with that being said, the first thing you wanna do is create a spawn location. Now all this is, is just simply a sprite. The spawn location is just a node 2D, nothing, uh, nothing too fancy here. This is basically going to be like an indicator for where the enemy is going to show up. This is, uh, you can make this into whatever you want. It's going to be like a warning signal or like maybe a vortex. Now uh, you can get very creative with what you want your spawn location to look like. For me, I just simply picked a yellow box for this tutorial. Now let's go over all over on the world and let's get started. So the first thing you are going to need is we're going to need a timer node here and we're going to call it let's spawn timer. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and add a position 2D. Now in the position we're going to go over to groups and we're going to simply assign it spawn. We're going to use that later on. Now let's go ahead and grab our position 2D and position it right in the middle. Perfect. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Move the second one right here. And third. You can put ha however many you want. This is basically going to be where the enemies are going to come out of. For this tutorial, we're only going to need three and they're going to come out from the top screen reason why they're going to come out from the top screen is because that's what we design our enemy to go. He will go down. That's what this does. You can simply change this to an X and then he'll move on the X axis. If you want him to move upwards, just simply change this to a negative. Perfect. Back at it we go. We're going to need to instance some things. Of course, the player. We're going to put him right down in the middle here. And then, oh, instance the spawn location. We're going to need that. Now we're going to place it right here in the middle because this is where the first enemy will come out of. Perfect. We have all that set up. Now we're ready to start scripting. Let's go ahead and set up a script to the world. Create. And then. Okay, this is all that you will need to set everything up. Of course, create a variable called enemy and then preload your enemy scene into it. And then we're going to hook up the spawn timer. I can do that right now to show you, of course. Spawn timer. Node. We go over to signal. Oh, before we begin, we're going to auto start and then the wait time. So we're going to make it every, let's see here. We'll, we'll leave it at one second so we can show you that it's working effic efficiently. Let's go ahead and hook that up. Perfect. We already had it, so it just simply connected it. All right, and then this is all the code that you'll need to make your enemy spawn out. I won't go over in pure detail, but this is basically what you have here. Var enemy instance equals enemy, enemy instance. Basically, is calling the enemy into the scene, and then we add it as a child into the scene. And then we make it spawn out of a location, the location being spawn location. And that's where this position will emerge. And then this code is just basically make it random so uh, per any per a certain amount the enemy will come out of going off of the spawn timer of course. That's where we set it for just one second. 
and that's about it it's a very simple code nothing too complex here and then let's go ahead and test it out move the screen there and that's about it see and now we have a simple wave spotter we have an indicator showing us where the enemies are going to come out next and of course we have it uh, set up to random perfect that is it for part one part two we are going to make a wave counter where every per a certain set of enemies we will do like wave one wave two and we'll create some ui showing you what wave you are in so that way we can bring this all together i do hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions leave some comments down below but make sure you like and subscribe we will be making more tutorials in the future of course and by the way, this tutorial was borrowed over by Lua Makes Games. I will link the link down in the description to the original one. They do go over an extra step, which I didn't go over. So if you're curious as to what else they do, definitely go check out that video as well. It is named the same thing. Thank you very much. I do hope you enjoyed the video. This is Ghost Pit, and I'll see you on the next video.